SJB decides to hit AKD the hardest. NPP profits most from crossovers. SLPP consoles itself that it is clean now. Raniel's camp plans wooing a sizable SJB lot. Mujibur alleges a deal behind Velu Kumar's switch. Why are retired military officers attracted to NPP? Raniel tells old royalists of an attempt to take revenge from people. Ex-military officers will have to make up their minds with difficulty. Namal throws a party for media at Damika's hotel. Mahinda entrusts Namal to the party. Goodbye, Pradeep. Who broke up the SLPP? The remaining lot, too, to go to Ranil very soon. Candidate seeks additional protection. Sajith bows to SJB's Catholic movement. With SJB's saloon door closed, Sirisena becomes neutral. CBK, too, is impartial this time. The leader, Deshita Magakiana, Prouti Pelagasma. SJB decides to hit AKD the hardest. The presidential election that takes place in 34 days' time has become a race between a maximum of four horses. Incumbent Ranil Wikrim Singhe, along with Sajith Premadasa, Anura Kumara Disanayake, and Namal Rajapaksa are the key contenders, while Dilith Jayawira too has become a notable campaigner. By last week, the Rajapaksas were left with a SLPP of around 20 to 30 MPs. Basil Rajapaksa and Sagara Kariyawasam fear how many more will switch sides before the election happens. But certain staff at the Nalem Mawatha office speak positively. One of them told his friends during drinks at a Thalawathagoda hotel that with all the deserters joining President Ranil, the party has now become cleansed of wrongdoers. He was left with nothing more to say when a friend remarked that he was only consoling himself over the losses. By nomination day, Sajith was in a victorious mood. Lakshman Fonseca's opinion polls gave him the upper hand. Hearing about that, hundreds of activists thronged his office in Colombo in recent days. Here, Sajith summoned his inner circle, Lucky, Maduma Bandara, S.M. Marikar and Sujiva Senasinghe, and gave them a piece of advice. Don't bring me any of those corrupt SLPP lawmakers, they have no place here. Bring only the clean ones, he told them. Sajith may lay down such conditions, but Ranil knows that people tend to forget with time that they had been wronged by many. Ranil now has Mahinda's saloon door with him. The remaining ones in the SLPP are welcome to enter. Already, nearly 100 had gone to him. Lucky closed Sajith's saloon door after accepting Patali Champika, and Rishad Bathyuddin on nomination day. Wajira Abewadena, Ravi Karunanayake, Manusha Nanayakara and Sudath Chandra Sekera are busy with taking the willing across that saloon door. On nomination day, SJB's Velu Kumar joined Ranil. Mujibur alleges a big deal had been struck for his crossover. Attempts are afoot to woo a sizable SJB set within days. Some have even made up their minds to die as a UNP member. Coming to know that Lucky and Sajith's media strategists have decided to spread it that they are switching sides in return for many millions of rupees. Now, Karu Paranawithana too attends Lucky's daily media committee meetings at eight in the morning. The past few days saw the committee deliberating on how AKD is getting more and more popular. With Ranil not attacking him, only Dilith and Weerawansa attack him now. So, a separate campaign should target him, and they decided to hand it over to Patali. So, a big campaign is to begin by the SJB to hit AKD the hardest. Critics say the NPP profited most from these jumping frogs issue. Their switching sides for various gratifications convince the voters, especially those floating ones, that all are the same and a change is needed. Why were retired military officers attracted to the NPP? These days, Ranil spends most of the time at Wajira's campaign office at Flower Road, he rushes for the pocket meetings nearby as well. Last Monday, he was at a meeting at a house near Royal College, organised by Duminda Atigale, an old royalist closely related to Upali Wijewadena. Also present were retired top military officials and VIP businessmen who discussed how to support Ranil. 
A former Air Force officer remarked that his frequent chats with colleagues reveal that 80% of them are with AKD. He asked Ranil what his plans are to counter that. Another said that it is the same with serving officers in the Triforces too. Ranil asked if they wanted to build the country or take revenge from people. If they want to build the country revived with great difficulty, tell them to come to me, he said sternly. Ask them about their programme to build the country. They don't have one. A majority of the people will not get deceived by them. So, they don't matter to me, he went on. Not just the NPP, the SJB too, is getting attracted by retired military officers. Critics say that such plans for the benefit of a few will end up with them having to make up their minds with difficulty that they batted for either the SJB or the NPP after retirement. No common good will happen at all, they say. Namal throws a party for the media at Damika's hotel. Last Wednesday afternoon saw several media briefings and parties thrown by politicians. Manusha hosted one at a restaurant at Alfred Avenue, Kolupitia, said to be owned by him, for some media figures. But not many were present. Among them was Pradeep Anura Kumara, the media secretary to Minister Prasanna Ranatunga. He had a conversation with a newspaper man. Weren't you invited to Namal's party? Most who were due here are at Damika's Kingsbury Hotel. I was not invited. Anyway, here we are. You would have been there too. Yes, I'm not well today. A gastric attack is affecting my chest too. I'll leave for home early. So saying, Pradeep took his friend Wijayananda Herath with the intention of meeting a doctor too. But he had to be admitted to the emergency unit of Colombo National Hospital. Doctors said he was having a heart attack and took him to emergency surgery. It was a success. But Pradeep got another attack and had to leave forever. He was a must-have character for gossip columns of newspapers. Prasanna, Manusha and others tried their best, but the end came for him. In the meantime, Namal had two media briefings going on at Kingsbury and Hilton Hotels for electronic media and newspaper editors. Mahinda attended both. On the morning of the 15th, Namal and Limini Rajapaksa took a sheath of beetle and went to see Mahinda at Wijarama Mawatha. Standing up, he embraced his eldest son and gave his blessings. He told Johnny Chanaka, Kariyawasam and others present to continue shouldering his responsibility. Johnny and others said in one voice that they won't give it up and promised to continue it on behalf of Mahinda and the people. From there, Namal proceeded to Gangarama Temple, where he called on Asaji Thera and received his blessings. Namal departed for the election secretariat in his father-in-law's luxury Ben's car. Kariawasam took the other seat while Chanaka sat in the front. Who broke up the SLPP? Members of the new alliance met at Water's Edge on Thursday afternoon for a meeting of the election operations committee. After finishing the work, they chatted over coffee. Shamara Sampath lamented the fate of the SLPP that had fallen to such a low that it had to beg to find a candidate. Priyanka Rajayaratne said Namal plotted to be the opposition leader after making Damika the candidate. Knowing that he is going to be baited, he withdrew at the last moment, he said. Nalin Fernando noted that they were now accusing the president of having divided the party. Lanza asked as to who broke up the SLPP. There was no party left for the president to divide. It was not him who was responsible, but the babies who yell in parliament, he said. Shamara agreed. That's true. There is this guy from Badula. He is such a big boast. He speaks as if he himself formed the party. Suzil said the SLPP cannot even form a branch union today. All those who talk big will be on our side in a matter of days, said Duminda. So, fears of Basil and Kariawasam are justified. It is widely expected that except for the big shots, all the remaining SLPP ones will knock at Ranil's saloon door during the campaigning. If that happens, Namal will have to start from the very beginning. Leader pointed that out since the start. Candidate seeks additional protection. Law enforcement is in quite a fix over providing protection for all the 39 candidates. It has been decided to give special security for Ranil, Sajith, AKD, Namal, Dilith and Wijayadasa. Also, inquiries have been as to whether the others need protection. One of them has sought additional protection. 
Upon inquiry, it has been found that a matter of a woman was the reason for his request. Aruna quoted a senior police official as saying the request was over his paramour. With SJB's saloon door closed, Sirisena becomes neutral. As news got spread that Sirisena decided to support Sajith, the SJB's Catholic movement got very upset. Only that party has such a movement. Its chief is Kavinda Makalanda. He has been complaining to Sajith that they will not support him if an accused in the Easter Sunday bombings is accepted into the party. SJB media spokesman Marikar had to issue a statement that he will not be welcome. Rejecting reports about the issue, he says the SJB is not in need of support from Sirisena. Pro-government propaganda groups are spreading falsehoods over their certain defeat, he says. Sirisena too has issued a statement, saying he will remain neutral at this election. With the SLFP dispute now before courts and a decision awaited on its chairmanship, appointments and decisions made by any other are invalid, he also says. In the meantime, ex-president Chandrika Bandaranaike Kumaratunga says she too will not support any candidate. The party is broken into several camps. Siripala supports Ranil even as Dayasiri is with Sajith. Some others are backing Vijayadasa. The rest are throwing their weight behind AKD. Such is the plight of some parties and alliances. The political map too is getting redrawn in the run-up to the presidential polls. That's it for today. The leader, Deshita Magakiana, Prorti Belagasma.